want to highlight something. I want to address something, first of all, to the young people who are being pressured into getting married. I just want to say just a couple of things to you guys. It's, again, it's not the solution to all of your problems, but at least I'll highlight some things. First and foremost, the, the relationship you're getting into, you don't go into a marriage thinking you're going to get divorced. You go into a marriage because this is going to be the next half of your life. You know, this is a lifelong commitment. This is the next 50, 60 years of your life. It's not a light decision. A lot of times all you think about is the marriage ceremony, the party, you know, making your parents happy. Uh, that's right now. What about 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now? Because this is this one decision decides the direction of the rest of your life. So if there was one time where you speak out and say your opinion and take a stand with all due respect, this is the time. You're not being disrespectful. This is a right Allah gave you. This is a serious decision, which has to do with your life. Not, not your parents' life more than it has to do with yours. Of course, you should be making a wise decision on who you marry and what kind of person they should be. And your parents should have a say in that. But if your parents don't have exclusive say, the dominant say is actually yours. And subhanAllah, and the, even the, the ayah, وَأَخَذْنَ minkum, They've taken from you. The women have taken from you. Allah didn't even mention their walis. He mentioned the women themselves. You are going to be, the sisters I'm talking to now, you have to be comfortable with the person you're marrying. Of course, if you come from a conservative family and a, and a religiously observing family, you don't go out and party. You don't go talk to men casually. You don't, you're not going to get to know the guy by going on a few dates before you decide. Of course, you're not going to be comfortable entirely with marriage because it's a new thing in your life. But at least you're going to have some level of comfort with the idea. You're going to be, okay, you know what? This seems like a good person. To my side, to, as best as I can find out within the realm of Sharia, this seems to be a good person. I think this is a good match for me. Allahu A'lam, if it's the best match, and sometimes people get married and they get divorced, this even happened with Sahaba. But we do our due diligence, right? You have to be happy going in. You shouldn't be settling in a relationship going in. The same is true of guys. Guys, speak up. And, you know, let your opinion be heard. That doesn't mean you're being disrespectful unless you're being disrespectful in the way you say it. See, disrespect is not, not about what you say. A lot of times what you say is legitimate. It's your right. You have the right to say something. But how you choose to say it, the tone you choose to use, all of these things matter. So be, be wise in how you bring this up to your elders. To the elders, I'd like to say that if your children are 24, 25, even 22, 23 years old, they're way over adults. And if they come to you saying, I want to marry this girl, I want to marry this man, then first of all, and you're living in the West, let me add one more condition here. If you're living in the West, then try to understand something. They would not have brought this proposal up if they weren't serious. Second of all, they're not children anymore. You can call them children when they're 85 years old and you're 150. It won't matter. They're not children anymore. They're adults. And this is not a kid going to a toy shop saying, I want to buy that toy, but get me an Iron Man action figure. That's, and so you just yell at them and say, no, 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 that's not for you. Buy the Ninja Turtles instead. No, 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 no. This is not the purchase of a toy. This is a life decision. And these young people, you should discuss this decision with them. But for a lot of you parents, when they bring up a proposal, they're like, no way. Are you kidding me? And it becomes a matter of pride that your child chose a person, not you. Look, you brought them into a Western society. They're min mingling with men and women all the time. The fact that they, have, they may, may have found somebody... Maybe not in the most you know, acceptable means Islamically, but it's already happened. They already like somebody. They're already interested in marrying someone. And you shut them down and you say, no way, this will never happen. This is a matter of our pride. This is a matter of our religion. Well, there are so many other matters of your religion where you ignore to teach them properly, where you ignore to provide them a, a healthy environment. And now you're getting angry at them for you know, making a choice or even suggesting a choice. At least consider the choice. Become more open-minded about the possibilities. The world around you has changed. The way you got married, the way even you know, my parents got married, is a different time. Those, those norms, those standards, cultural standards have changed. The world around us has changed. You know? So we have to be open to the choices that our children are making. Look, if you're sending your son to college, you have enough trust in him to send him to college, to let him work in a non-Muslim society. If you're sending your daughter to school, and she's getting an education in a non-Muslim society. You trust her enough to send her out into a cruel, corrupt world, you know, and to survive and uphold her, her values. So then you have to trust her enough with her decision, at least enough to consider her decision. Even if you don't like the, first, the choice at first, at least to consider that decision. So be a little more open-minded about this discussion and control the tempers. 
No, there's no need for overly dramatic language. There's no need for, oh my God, my, all of my dreams have shattered and my, you're no longer my son and all of this stuff. Just take it easy. Take it easy. Everybody needs to be able to say how they feel. In many Muslim cultures, parents don't open up. They only open up when it's like too late. And children don't say anything because they're too afraid of what their parents might think. We need to change that culture. We need to have a culture of open, honest, and yet at the same time respectful communication.